Hello everyone, Dan Hurd with Dan Hurd Prospecting here. Welcome to my channel. Tonight I am in my kitchen again, at the kitchen table, and I have a Miller table, the Black Scorpion Miller table, and I'm going to use it to clean up some fairly rich cons I have stored away here, and get them nice and clean, so that I can go and melt them down and pour them into a gold bar very small gold bar, but uh, these are pretty rich cons, there's lots of gold in them. So tonight, rich cons, cleaned up on a Miller table. I hope you enjoy. Now this is the Black Scorpion Fine Gold Recovery System, which is just a glorified Miller table. It's got some, you know, fancy advances that make it kind of nice. A couple little, oh, I've got gold in there already. A couple little divots that you can push your gold into once you've got it sort of cleaned up. It's got a few little steps in here, sort of little safety marks that will sort of help the gold from floating away. Uh, at the end, we've got some... Uh, matting that if anything does get away it should get caught in there for rerunning afterwards uh, though not much really gets away on this thing I just have uh, a little battery over here piped in with a hose that's a little bit too long uh, a valve for adjusting the water flow though I did find a little earlier wide open with this pump seems to be pretty good uh, the header box here, it's got a little bit of a median up here that will help spread the water out nice and uh, straight so we have a nice even flow over the whole surface. And the whole idea with a Miller table is that water is flowing down over this surface nice and smoothly and those flat flakes of gold end up sitting flat on the bed and the water flows straight over top of it. The coarser, rounder stuff like black sand gets caught up in the water flow and flows away, leaving nice clean gold just sitting on the bottom of the Miller table. Now I have classified down, nice and fine, with about a 50 mesh classifier, uh, nice and fine. I have sort of, I, I don't know my actual sizes here, but that's probably minus 50, that's probably minus 30, and then over on the counter somewhere I have the big stuff. We're going to run all of those and see what I have. Should be exciting. Let's do it. Let's get this thing fired up here. Here comes the water. And we'll put just a little bit in to start with. And I've, sh I've shaken this down. I've classified it all, or stratified it all down. So this top stuff here should have very little gold in it. Should just be sort of the black sands and the lighter stuff. I'm just going to use a little bit of this right now. Oh, not much gold. Look how much is showing up. Okay, I just want to have a look right now, make sure the gold is not getting away on me. Which is not, it's sitting down there nicely. This is the really fine stuff right now. And what I'm doing is watching down here to make sure no flakes are getting away. If I see flakes getting away, I will turn down the water flow or adjust how my angle, adjust how I put it in, all that kind of stuff. Spread it out right across the whole width and it's just slowly getting rid of all that black sand nicely okay see there's my first flake I got two of them one there one there that made it a little too far a little farther than I like so I'm gonna get in there with my brush and I'm gonna brush them up up in the top section here. Anything I see get down below the top section, I'll just push back up. I can also go in here and disturb the water around any black sands that are not moving and get those black sands going away again. Look at all that gold. When I get the gold nice and clean, I'm going to go and push it off into one of these side little things and just store it there to collect later. I'm not too worried if I leave a little bit of black sand with it because I am going to melt this down and any remaining black sand will just get caught up in the flux. 
and not be a problem. This is looking good. Get some more in there. Get all the way down to the second safety ripple here. Get him back up. This minus 50 stuff here is going to be the hardest to collect because it's very flat and it wants to flitter in the water flow. Though the Miller table, any Miller table works best on very flat gold because it lays down on the bottom flat and the water flows above it, holding it down. It does not work so well on round gold like you'd get from a crusher. Like my impact mill would crush this stuff up so, or would make this stuff so round that it would just roll down here. some of it into the safety here. It's pretty clean. Most of the black sand has gone away from this stuff, so it's pretty clean going in there. But this stuff is so fine. Turn down my water flow just a bit. Some more in. I should point out that I have absolutely no affiliation with the guy that makes these things. Even though he is local and lives in my town, um, I, he hasn't asked me to make this video. I'm not getting any kickbacks, commissions, anything like that. He doesn't even know I'm making this video right now. So just for those people who say I'm only making these videos to sell equipment, nothing of the sort here. I'm just doing this to show off what a Miller table can do and how you might use one. Nice tight classification definitely helps with the Miller table. So if all the material is roughly the same size in there, it's really easy to wash away the black sands from the gold without having the gold go anywhere. I'm going to move the camera and get the camera above this so you can see this in action from above. Now, as I said with the um, spiral wheel video as well, I don't tend to use these types of machines when I'm cleaning up my gold. I tend to just pan mine out. I'm really quick at panning, so often I won't bother with one of these special machines. I will just go and pan it all down. Because panning to me is very easy. I like doing it. A lot of people don't. I like panning. It's very easy and I can do it fairly quickly so I'm not too worried about the time because these other methods are fairly slow as well. They clean up nicely but they're slow. However 
this stuff here, this minus 50 stuff, would be very hard for me to pan out. It would be just time consuming to pan this stuff out nicely. So in this case, the Miller table might be the way to go. A lot of this stuff here is from the Thompson River, the Tom and Thompson River gold is so, so fine. Okay, that's clean. If you disturb this black sand, it goes away quicker, but you do have to watch that you don't disturb the gold so much that it goes away as well. So that's why I'm just pushing it back up every once in a while, keep the gold from floating down, not floating, but being pushed down the Miller table. And if you're patient, you don't have to push it around like this. It will do its thing on its own if you just leave it. But if you're not patient, you can just push it around a bit and have it speed up a bit. Push that all into the little holder here. The water is disturbed around this little holder and this fine stuff doesn't want to sit down inside right now. Because it's so fine. It's not going away though, so no worries. Okay, my next batch isn't doesn't have nearly as much volume. It's actually cleaned up a lot better. Um, and it's slightly coarser. This stuff here, every bit, a little bit slightly coarser. Probably um, 30 to 50 mesh in there. And it's gonna go real quick because there's not very much of it. But you can see bigger pieces. Look how quick this Miller table cleans up the coarser stuff. And I say coarser, this is still pretty darn fine material. Uh oh, sea flake getting away on me. It looks to be a bit folded flake, so it got kind of in the water flow. It's, this stuff is clean already, I'm going to just push it in right away. If you're wondering about the gold that was in there to start with, it was the really big chunks. I had a couple of really big chunks in this and I just used it to set up the machine. So I got the water flow nicely before I put it on camera. One that just does not want to stay. There he is. Let's get him in right now. Okay, let's get the rest of this in here. this out. Recover the one that's trying to escape on me. There we go. And this stuff's clean already. Of course stuff doesn't take long to clean. Go get the coarser stuff. Unfortunately, I let this sit a little bit with water in it and dry out, so it's a bit rusty. But I don't think the rust has tied up any of the gold. So get this wet so we don't have floating gold. I should mention there's a little bit of jet dry in the water, 
to keep uh, gold from floating. And then we're going to put this coarsest stuff on and see how the table works with it. Like you turn up my water flow, that stuff, that's coarse stuff is a little hard for the water to push. There's the big stuff. It is stained rusted a bit. That stuff cleans up really quick. That wasn't gold that just went by. Just a little white rock. Some of these big flat flakes are getting caught up and pushing down a little bit. So let's get them back. As I said, when I'm done here, I want to take this stuff and just melt it down into a little bar. I'm having fun melting my gold, so this stuff would be a perfect material to melt and make a bar out of. a bunch of it down. Luckily it didn't go too far away. It's all just right down here. I see one underneath the camera. Let's get it back. Come on. Get this on my cell phone as well so I can put it out to Instagram. Okay, well, let's push all this. There's a bit of black sand still left right there. Doesn't want to move. It's gone. Now I guess there's a couple grams right there. And there we are. Let's take this camera out of the holder. I'll show you what we got. There's the gold. All of our gold in the little pocket in the black scorpion miller table. I'll show you the setup here. We have the whole valve for controlling the water. It's the hose. My pump is, ooh, can you see it underneath here? Yeah, no, we'll be able to see it. It's underneath there somewhere. 
We have a little tub down here to catch all the black sand, all the tailings that come through. There's the pump right there. And, well, my tripod right on top of it at the moment. Battery to run it all. And the miller table works nicely. There's the gold. I'll just bring my uh, sucker bottle over here and suck that up now. Try it out and show you how much we have once it's dry. Now before I reveal how much gold is here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, now is a perfect time. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notifications when I produce new videos. Here we go, let's see how much gold there is. Now that it's all dried out, there it is. Am I guessing two? Yeah, I'm guessing two. Must be close to two. It's zeroed out. Let's see what it comes out to. All gone. In there. 2.13. There we go. Once that is, uh, you know, refined a bit more with the flux, because there is a little bit of black sand in there, once that's refined a little bit more, we will probably have two, we'll probably have two grams by the time we're done. We'll get a little tiny two gram bar. Now if you like seeing all this gold, make sure you hit that like button, and I'll show you more gold in the future. Now my next step is to take this to the shop and smelt, well, at least melt this gold into a little gold brick. However, it is late, I will have to do that tomorrow. So we're going to wait for the next video to do the melting, because that's kind of fun to do, and I like showing off all the steps of that. Don't want to make this video too long. Thanks for watching. A special thanks to my patrons on Patreon. Very thankful for your support. If you'd like to help me continue creating these episodes, visit me on patreon.com slash danherd. Until the melting and smelting, which will be tomorrow. Bye.